after the incantations of a nefarious necromancer summoning spells go amiss due to a befuddled crony's incompetence, a powerful demon is unleashed upon the world. Shortly after, the realm of Ancaria is thrown into a cascading downpour of unfortunate events. With the bighorn demon at the door and the isometric action RPG tropes, Sacred has justifiably been accused of being a Diablo clone. But upon further inspection, this clone must have differences in its molecular makeup because the similarities are only skin deep. Don't get me wrong, Sacred has the genre trappings of any point and click action RPG like color code loot and fantasy themes, but that's where the similarities end. Really, if it must be compared to something, then Sacred is more like the Elder Scrolls of an isometric adventure. These aspects are emphasized by the star of the show here, an enormous, beautifully rendered and realized open sandbox world complemented by hundreds of quests and adventures to happen upon in a vast and lively world. Sacred trades the unfamiliarity of randomly generated level design that's usually associated with this genre for a massive static world that allows the player to become personable with the landscapes. From the tangerine dragons and marmalade lava pools to the ice capped mountains with yellow and green ogres towering over your head, the environments are quite impressionable. Throughout these mushy marshes, sandy salt flats, and all the spectacular environments are structures adding to the pulse of Ancaria's heartbeat. Every house, cathedral, decrepit monastery, rotting ziggurat, and ice palace can be entered and explored to plunge you deeper into the immersion. These stunning, detailed environments are also littered with quests. Unfortunately, most of them are just that, litter. They're mostly busy work with run-of-the-mill fetch, escort, and kill quests. But another man's trash is another man's treasure. Because really, action RPGs are about two fundamental core aspects, loot and combat. And even though these quests may be your standard grain of sandbox filler, at least they provide a lot of killing and a lot of gear. Killing and combat come at a good pace, and, of course, lead to leveling up, which is a pretty unique process. When your character levels up, you will allocate one standard attribute point, and you also upgrade your skills, which is custom to the six different classes. That's it. You don't choose spells or special attacks to increase your abilities. Instead, combat arts are dropped like pieces of loot, but they can be for any class. If you find a combat art that's for your class, then you can use it like a consumable to rank up a specific art. This was a great system to encourage trading online, but the servers have been offline for a long time. Luckily, you can take four of any class's combat art to a special merchant, and he can transform them into the desired art for your class. So between the attributes, skills, gear, and combat arts, you'll get to create a unique character. Even though it may look similar to those other gear grind extravaganza action RPGs, Sacred still manages to etch out its own personality as a pristine example on how to bring those addictive hack, slash, and loot aspects together with a stunning world that's still exquisite as it ever was.